All right, today's video, we're gonna smoke test the Jeep engine. As you can see right there, my engine at idle is running at about 14, 15 inches of vacuum. When it's warm, when it's cold, it's about 10 inches of vacuum. And you can see if I, if I connect right here. This is my fuel trim's about, see now it's setting up about zero, but is it possible that I may have a vacuum leak somewhere? We're gonna smoke test the engine and we're gonna see if we're having a vacuum leak or not. So let's get to that. A little vacuum can be a signal for multiple things. Uh, major intake leak or something. Major leak inside the engine's not sealing properly, causing uh, unmetered air to come in. This can all cause problems like real bad gas mileage. When I was on my trip to the Yukon, my vacuum dropped from like 20 inches down to where it is 10 to 15 now. But I put the supercharger on it I know this engine's on its way out, so I'm just going to do this video on smoke testing the engine. Now, obviously, you're probably not going to have a supercharger on, but if you're doing a Jeep TJ engine, off the manifold, off the bottom, there's three vacuum ports off that that you can pull off and go into. I'm going to go off the top of the supercharger right there, and I'm going to smoke test the engine with this Chave Hurricane 700 water-based party smoker, and once it warms up, I got my hose connected and it's got a metal end on here because the end right here gets pretty hot. So once it gets hot, it might start melting the hose that's got a metal end and then we're going to start injecting the engine with smoke. Then we're going to see if anything's going to appear from it to indicate if we have a leak or not. Alright, looks like we're ready to go. The only real big vacuum leaks we're going to be able to see on the Jeep is on the intake where it bolts on to the head or maybe through the valve cover. Not seeing any vacuum leaks at all, it's just actually coming through the intake now on the other side of the throttle body. Not seeing anything popping through, so I think I might pop this hose off right here and uh, inject it through the engine and see if the valve cover or not has a leak. Okay, we just smoke test the engine through the PVC valve with no issues at all and we smoke test it through the top of the supercharger with no visible leak. So we ruled out low vacuum is caused by an intake leak or an engine leak where unmetered air can come in. Now that we're back inside the Jeep and it's running, you can tell the needle is sitting pretty steady at about 14 inches of vacuum. Now. <clears throat> If you go by the traditional rules, low vacuum like that could be caused by late timing. I did the timing probably about eight months ago uh, when I had the timing chain stretch after I came back from my trip from the Yukon. So in theory it could be possible it could be a tooth out, but the vacuum was low before that so that's not the issue. Now if you had a weak or broken spring in the valve train, your vacuum would be jumping. Same with if you had a head gasket leak, it would be jumpy. Now there's a test that you could do that you could hit the throttle, uh, watch it go up and settle down. So let's just hit the throttle right now. So it went to zero and then down to 20 and back. So I'm gonna get a cylinder leak down tester because I'm believing to think that my uh, rings, even though the compression is good, that uh, it's leaking past the rings and the rings are worn out in the engine. That's my guess. But we're going to have to troubleshoot more to find this out. Alright, I'm going to end my video there on smoke testing the Jeep in order to try to find an issue with a vacuum leak that might lead to my low vacuum. That's not the case. So we are going to continue further and see what's going to happen. Anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. Let's get that cylinder leak down tester ordered and then we'll get on to the next job. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.